In the 1940s and 50s, a producer of the insecticide DDT legally dumped manufacturing waste into the ocean near Catalina and Palos Verdes. The U.S. banned DDT in 1972. But SDSU School of Public Health researcher Margaret Stack says traces of it remain in marine life decades later. So we know that there is DDT in sediments, and we also see DDT in some really high trophic predators or animals that are really high up in the food web like marine mammals and condors. But something that we're sort of missing is that middle link. How are we getting DDT from the sediment into top predators? Stack and her colleagues think they've found that link at the Catalina site. We found some of the same DDT compounds in the sediment and in these deep ocean fish. So we think that there is this link there that sediment from the deep ocean could be providing DDT um, to the food web. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says chemicals in DDT can cause liver and reproductive problems in animals and may cause cancer in humans. So whenever it was really at its height, there was a lot of eggshell thinning in birds and pelicans and bald eagles. We do still see some evidence of eggshell thinning in certain species like California condors. Um, And then even in sea lions, there's, there's relationships between DDT and cancer. Stack says that's why it's so important to know where and how it's getting into the food web all these years later. Katie Anastas, KPBS News.